Yes! Woo! Man, that was a tough game. All right. Oh, did we? No, no, yeah, we don't want to. Okay, yeah, slow, you can go as slow as you want on those credits. All right, we did it. First things first, uh, the bottom center of the screen says we've beaten 16 games in 2024 and uh, 463 since we started doing this in 2020. Those numbers are now obsolete. We've now beaten 17 games in 2024 and 464 since we started doing this in 2020. Whoa. Well, let me tell you, man, uh, I did thoroughly enjoy this game. Let's talk about it. Um, so, the, right out the bat, it is important to know that this is a Celeste clone. That is what this game is trying to emulate in a very straightforward way. It does not, it makes no, it makes, there are no, it, there's no confusion about that. It's very clear. Um, is this game as good as Celeste? No. But the good news is that it's not bad. It's not not as good because the platforming sucks, which is what I was worried about. You have a game like this, a precision platformer that's extremely difficult, and the platforming isn't very precise and very good, you're going to have a bad time. The platforming was great. Just as good as Celeste, as far as I could tell. Um, it's, uh, it's not easy, but it's precise. It's well done. When you mess up, you know why, right? It's not, you don't, it's not, uh, it's not jank. It's not, there's, there's no, there's no confusion about when you die, about like, oh, well, where was the hitbox or anything. It's very straight, very straightforward. Um, so that was great. Um, and that's really all this game is. So it's not a bad thing for me to say that's all I can think of that's good about it. <laughs> because that's 95% of what it is, is just precision platforming. Um, the art style is fine. It's whatever. It's, you know, it's it's pretty in its own way, but I've seen a lot of games like this now, so it's not like it's blowing me away with the art style. The music is also, like, fine. It's very retro-style music. Let me turn it down a little bit. It's very retro-style music. It's not particularly good. Um, some of that uh, MIDI music from back in the day, and even some more recent ones just freaking slap. I wouldn't say that about this music, but it's fine. It's passable. Um, however, there are some things about this game that are not passable. I mean, it's all passable, but they're not very good. Um, the story basically doesn't exist. You get very little set up um, and you you have a premise that that's clear at the beginning, but no real reason as to why. Uh, it, it's just like, this is what you gotta do. Go do it. Um, so the story basically is non-existent. And what really made Celeste a masterpiece isn't precision platforming on its own. It's that, coupled with this incredible story and and it's like you can't either one of those things would have made for a good game but when you put them together and they mesh so nicely that the story is like this metaphor for the gameplay is really a metaphor for the story you know and they they work together so perfectly that's what really makes celeste special this game doesn't have a story so it's just the precision platforming so it's just the grueling hard really tough try over and over. I mean, I died 680 times. Uh, it's it's very difficult, but there is no story. Um, the, uh, the only other thing that makes it not as enjoyable as Celeste is it's quite short. I think it took me about four hours. Um, it's, it's quite short. Uh, and that's not a bad thing, especially for me. I, I'm always down to play a short game. But when thinking about the value of a game and what really... This game doesn't have any time to get to the epicness of Celeste. When you get to the end of Celeste, and this Celeste isn't a long game either, but when you get to the end of Celeste, there's a real sense of accomplishment that you can almost look down from that mountain and be like... I did this, you know, like you actually climbed a mountain. Um, this game 
isn't like that. It's not structured like that. Um, it's it's it, you're genuinely generally moving upward, but there's a lot of up and left and down like Metroidvania style movement. It's not about that kind of journey. It's more about just get the collectibles as much as you can and then try and get to the end. Um, so there's just it doesn't have the weight that Celeste does, but it reminds me a lot of Enchanted Portals. I recently played Enchanted Portals, which is a Cuphead clone, and that game was like bottom barrel as far as budget goes. But they nailed the platforming, and so it, the, some of the platforming and the boss fights were actually pretty fun because they, the rest of it was garbage, but but the platforming didn't suck, and so the game still had some fun moments. That's kind of how I'd put the box I'd put this into. Uh, this is better than Enchanted Portals because Enchanted Portals had some really deep flaws. This game doesn't really have that. There's just not that much to be flawed. You know, all, the only thing they could fuck up in this game is the platforming, which they didn't. And the story, which they didn't fuck up because there is none. You know, it doesn't have a bad story. And, or, or, um, maybe some, some of the technical stuff like the, the graphics of the music. It's all very passable. It's all very C. C grade. Um, but the platforming was A tier because it tries really hard to be Celeste and it does a good job of of emulating that. Uh, so if you want, if you're a big fan of Celeste and you want more of a game like that, this is the closest game I've ever played to that. And while you are not going to get the story in any capacity that you get with Celeste, if you really love just the platforming challenges, you can play this and get that. And it's pretty fun. It really is. It's very difficult. The only, re the only reason I didn't die as much in this game as I did in Celeste is because it's about half as long. So I died about half as much. Um, but other, as far as the actual day-to-day, moment-to-moment difficulty, it's at least as hard as Celeste. It's about as hard. It's, it's like exactly the same difficulty. But it was fun. I did enjoy it. Uh, it's only 10 bucks. This game is 10 bucks retail at launch, so it was worth 10 bucks for sure. Um, if this game had been 30 bucks, that would have been a tougher question to answer. But a $10 game at launch that's trying to be like Celeste? Hell yeah, sign me up. I enjoyed it. All right, we did it. That's it for Celeste. I mean, <laughs> that's it for Jubilee. Um, Jubilee, thank you to, let's see, was the guy, what was the guy's name? I think I can't I can't check the credits again. It was a guy named James or Jerry or something. I guess this is a one man one man team. Well, there were several other names in there, right? Anyway, everyone who worked on this game, thank you. I appreciate it. It was definitely worth the ten dollars and more. Uh, but we are now going to delete you from our console and never play you again. Bye. Thank you. Appreciate you.